Is filling your water softener with salt costing you too much money? Colligan Smart Sensor Technology saves you two tons of salt and 20,000 gallons of water over 10 years. And that's good for the environment. Right now, solve your water problems for as little as $10 a month for six months. Well, we have many different ways that we communicate with, uh, with the public and with our customers in the media. Uh, obviously, the Internet in the last several years has become a main source of information for many people with the advent of portable devices and smartphones and things such as that. But uh, we also have weather radio. We have six transmitters across northern Michigan, which allow us to get information out and warning alarms and such to, uh, to people as needed with uh, special frequencies that people can hear just weather information on. We have uh, other means as well. I mean, we have 800 megahertz radios to the Michigan State Police. We have amateur radio uh, people as well that come in, and we're able to relay information both back and forth. And we also have NAWAS lines, which are another means through, through Lansing and, and the Michigan State Police where we can, uh, we can funnel information both back and forth to dispatch centers across the entire state if needed. Information. But we, use, uh, we use quite a bit of different information in regard to making a forecast and on any given day, and whether you're working the short-term forecast desk or the long-term forecast desk, we're incorporating uh, information that comes in from our volunteer network. We have cooperative reservers who have official weather service installed equipment at their homes that, that they read every day. They provide us information via the telephone or the internet. We're also getting information uh, via the upper air balloons that we launch twice a day. Uh, information is funneling in from across the world, really, uh, into the computer systems from, from buoy data in the oceans to satellite information. Uh, all that information coming in, it, it comes into supercomputers basically in Washington, D.C. These supercomputers uh, basically are able to compute lots and lots of information, and then that information is fed via satellite back to the weather offices that we can, we can look at it and uh, try to make the best forecast possible. And, well, we have the Doppler radar here at the office, and uh, every weather service office now has a Doppler radar. And the Doppler radar is, is really the, the absolute best way to view sort of real-time weather information across a large area. It allows us to sort of slice and dice the atmosphere. We can, we can look at it in different levels. We're able to get estimations of how much precipitation has fallen, how much snowfall has fallen uh, across the area. The, the Doppler radar enables us to do that. And uh, we take that and we incorporate that information uh, when we're making our short-term forecast to adjust our headlines, when we have our watches out, a warning, uh, an advisory, something like that. It allows us to take real-time data and put it in and determine that we're making the best possible forecast, uh, you know, every single, uh, every single minute of every single